So starting the test drive in this Crown, the pickup is actually very, very good. I feel like I remember that when I did my test drive of the, of the limited trim as well. You wouldn't expect it to be as impressive as it is, but it's really nice. Now it is windy out, but we're getting just a little bit of wind noise here, cruising at 55. We're gonna take it up just a little bit. So we have the lane centering on here. And you can toggle that adaptive cruise mode right there and the gap adjust for that here. But overall, the ride quality is superb. Just like the Avalon. And the brake pedal feel, even with the regen, I'm not feeling any sort of lurching or anything like that. It's pretty impressive just how the pedals feel. The gas pedal and the brake pedal. Both are very smooth. And I mean, there's really not much to say other than it's just, it's a relaxing driving experience. So we're gonna give it a little throttle here in the normal mode. And the more you put your foot into it, the more this thing will pull. But I wanna put it into the sport mode now and see how that'll get up. No one's around me, so I'm gonna slow down and then just give it about halfway throttle. Yeah, it's pretty quick. So one of the reasons that this car is, I feel like a vehicle that's underappreciated, underestimated is it's kind of a weird, everybody's trying to go towards EVs and plug-in hybrids and Toyota said, you know what, we're gonna drop this crown and see what people think about it. And a lot of people aren't really hearing about it. I'm seeing quite a few on the roads, but in more, I think, urban areas where hybrids are appreciated, people do research on cars like this, but I'd say the majority of people still haven't heard of this with it being a new model, but it is, extremely impressive acceleration is very good especially for a four-cylinder engine i mean we have all the features we could want here even in this mid-range trim you might even consider this more of a base trim on this car in particular but you're getting 42 miles per gallon city 41 highway those are the epa estimates so you can probably do better depending on how you drive it And I consider this the Prius Avalon. Let me just put it that way. So the Prius has always been around, but it's always been kind of like a, I feel like halfway between a Corolla and a Camry. Whereas this is a, I mean, this feels like the inside of a RAV4, just the space you get here. And it drives like an Avalon. So, I mean, it's just, a very, very good product they put together. And then even driving in eco mode, 
most of you'll want to use this just for the highway but driving around town it still gets up when you need it to you just don't get that full power and you'll probably want to put your foot into the floor if you're trying to accelerate quickly while in this mode but i'm going to put it into the normal mode let's see how we get up here Now with the ECVT, not having to worry about shift points and all of that, this thing is pretty quick. And if we did have a traditional transmission with a powertrain like this, even Toyota's eight speed that you can find in the Camry, it would probably be more fun to drive, but I feel like you wouldn't get the pull that you get here. And there might be room for more errors or I don't know things that might come up along the way but with this ecvt it just allows you to have seamless power and then when you're not under hard throttle you're able to get the best fuel economy possible with the continuously variable transmission but i have the radar cruise set to 74 or 73 excuse me and then we're only going 71 to keep that safe distance between us and the vehicle in front of us. And just a, a great driver's aid. I've said this about Toyota's lane centering in particular in the past, but having that with, with the adaptive cruise, it's just very relaxing for longer drives on the interstate. And driving down the road here, very little road noise that I'm noticing. It's just super quiet in here. Sound acoustics are fantastic. Now for the money, I think this is a, I think it's a fantastic buy, honestly. And I wasn't as sure of myself when I did the limited trim because that kind of, with all the heated and cooled seats, the roof, I don't even think it was a sunroof. I think it was just a fixed glass roof. With all of that there, this was pushing 50K plus, maybe 55, I can't remember exactly. But here, at a little over $40,000, getting something that rides as nicely, has all this safety technology, a great looking interior, especially for cloth. They did a great job with the seats and everything. But the powertrain, especially the engine in particular, having that 2.5 hybrid motor, having that power at your disposal but 98 percent of the time when you don't need it you're getting 42 miles per gallon city i mean it's a it's a good match it really is so i think if you're looking at the prius or even some evs this might be more practical to you because if you have range anxiety you don't have to worry about that with this car that's getting 42 miles per gallon in the city 41 highway so i highly recommend this car if you're looking for something fuel efficient that's riding good has decent power and doesn't necessarily break the bank too bad definitely make sure you take a look at this 2023 toyota crown in the xle trim level